when I think of action cameras, I think of crash cams. You know, the cameras that they use in films to get the any action shots, POV shots, and all the other abstract shots in order to create a compelling story, like strapping it to a car in an action scene to get all the action in the case of an accident. The cameraman doesn't get hurt, but you know, the car, the camera, and everything else that's involved in the accident does, you know, you know, fair a bit of damage. But that is what comes to mind when I think of action cameras. The cameras you put in sketchy situations because they are small, not too expensive, and expendable, like the Expo Trek action camera. You can attach this little camera to your car as a crash cam or dash cam, attach it to your chest while riding a bike, surfing, hiking, running, one wheeling, rock climbing, golfing, competitive fishing, or skateboarding. If you are traveling, you can attach it to your bag while strolling through the airport or roller bag and roll it through the airport or just attach it to your backpack while commuting. It is a little camera that you can rig up for stunts because you don't want to put your bigger higher quality camera at risk. But based on the packaging and advertising, this little camera is meant for action sports, which means it has been built to take a beating. I mean, just look at this waterproof housing. Disclaimer, this is a review video about the x -Pro Trek action camera. This camera was sent out to me to test out and review. I am not being paid to make this video, nor was I told what to say. However, there is a referral link in the description if you're interested in picking up the x -Pro Trek camera, which is less than $110. And for the price of one GoPro, you can get two x -Pro Trek cameras. All right, so I definitely have to do my own research on this camera. And after looking up the reviews on the x -Pro Trek action camera, I thought the quality be, would be good enough to pair with my GoPro Hero 8. Yes, I still have the GoPro Hero 8 Black. I was on the market of buying another action camera, but the x -Pro Trek was sent out to me, which just might be the action camera I can use as a first or second BTS cam for some upcoming projects. But I am recording this portion of the video before I actually use the camera, so everything after this point will be a determining factor as to whether I keep this camera or give it to someone who would get better use out of it than me. I say that because it might end up collecting dust in my closet just like the GoPro Hero 8 Black, which it had done for the better part of the pandemic. Which I kind of accept that it's just something that comes with you know, camera gear and cameras. You use some and you don't. With well, all of that out of the way, what do you need to know about the x -Pro Trek action camera? What sets it apart from other action cameras? And is it worth the purchase? Let's try to figure that out firstly by diving into the specs before we get into the tests. The x -Pro Trek action camera shoots 4K UHD video up to 60 frames per second, 2.7K video up to 60 frames per second, 1080p video up to 120 frames per second, and 720p up to 240 frames per second. It shoots 20 megapixel photos up to 30 frames per second. It has a 40 meter, AKA 130 feet of waterproofing only with the waterproof housing. It takes up to one 120 gigabyte micro SD card comes with a wireless remote, two rechargeable 1,350 milliamp hour batteries, and a ton of other kit to rig up this camera to get those in action shots that you need in order to tell a compelling story. It has built-in Wi-Fi to where you can control the camera from your phone. It has electronic image stabilization and an internal mic. It does not support external mics, so keep that in mind if you're interested in this camera. It is equipped with a two inch rear touchscreen display and a front display for vlog view. The lens is a 170 degree ultra wide angle lens that cycles through fish eye distortion and no distortion when the electronic image stabilization is either on or off, which means if you do not want fish eye, you lose stabilization. And if you do want fish eye, you have access to stabilization. The max focal length of this lens is one meter, AKA a little over three feet. Okay, with the specs out of the way, let's get to the test. Now I do not do any water action sports. So I feel like this action camera and every other action camera in regards to action sports just may be wasted on me. But what I do is I use it as a dash cam in order to get coverage while I am driving or I attach it to my backpack while one wheeling between photo shoots, something like this. Without stabilization, 
the footage is semi garbage but with stabilization it it's great however i do not like fish eye so that one that's a toss up for me but i do wish i did have this camera back when i used to commute daily on my bike throughout chicago commuting all the way from loyola university to west town aka ukrainian village which is about an eight to ten mile bike ride one way depending upon the route and on the days when there's detours it can easily become a 16 mile ride one way i say that because the battery life on the x pro trek action camera is impeccable i've gotten two days of recording on one battery alone but that is just based on my use case right now and i will be doing further testing in more strenuous situations or settings very soon now let's talk about what sets this apart from all the other action cameras out there on the market and i do have to say not much it does all the things that action cameras do but i do have to say the image is okay it's usable i will be using this with the gopro in another video to see how well i can match them so do keep a lookout for that which i think will be interesting because the gopro hero 8 black is a 12 megapixel camera and the x pro trek is a 20 megapixel camera and i feel like i can manipulate the images well enough in camera in order to get them to where i want to use them to where i feel like they're usable because i do like the image that comes out of the gopro hero 8 but now let's talk about the build quality of the expo trek it is fully plastic the water housing is also fully plastic so i would say be very careful because when i first held it in my hands i felt like i was going to break it the lens element feels like it isn't really supported well enough so i would recommend leaving it in the waterproof housing if you know that you're rough on your gear now i usually rig this up as a dash cam i don't use the waterproof housing but i would just say do as you may and now would i recommend it i would say only if you want an action camera that you can go out and have fun with without worrying about the potential damage. Just keep it in a waterproof housing. I think it is a good walk around POV camera for photographers and a great BTS camera due to the fact that it does shoot in 4K and you're able to dial in the image to get the quality that you wanna get out of it. I will be diving into all the settings and the setup and the image quality in another video, so do keep a lookout for that. But you can check out this video right here as to whether it pairs well with the GoPro Hero 8. If it isn't there, then you can watch the one below on testing out the GoPro Hero 8 Black as a vlog camera. And you can come back here next week to check out the one on top. Also, stay awesome.